Hi guys, this is Jurassic Data and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in sandbox mode on Jurassic World Evolution 2 in this episode 8 to add 4 new species to our park. I'm going to build a two enclosure next to the Chronosaur Lagoon and behind the Pteranodon aviary and its little plaza. There will be a small enclosure for small dinosaurs, the cutest one in the game, I think you have guessed what species it is, and yes, it's Omalocephaly. I will build a small swampy enclosure for them, and right across the street I will build our first large Jurassic enclosure with a Gyrosphere 2. The species I choose for this enclosure live together in North America in Jurassic. They are Dryosaurus, Stegosaurus and Apatosaurus. I think we will have two large Jurassic enclosures. The second one will contain the larger sauropods like uh, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus and Camarasaurus. For the carnivores, I think that either I will put them with big sauropods or I will make a separate enclosure for them. You may wonder which kind of carnivores I mean, but there will be a pack of Allosaurus and a duo of Ceratosaurus. Too bad we don't have Torvosaurus because it's one of my favorite theropods, but that's okay, maybe he'll come in a future DLC and then he'll be in the prehistoric kingdom game. Get ready because we are going to start a series on this game soon. I can't wait to play it. Anyway, I've done a lot of carnivore in the last few episodes. I wanted to have big enclosure for the herbivores with stem attractions. We already had the Cretaceous fauna enclosures that I built in the first episode. Then the African Paradise with Ninjasaurus and the Uranosaur in their big swamp in episode 4, but no Jurassic environment yet, and even any Jurassic dinosaur, so I'm very happy to be able to do this enclosure. For the Omalocephaly, nothing very complicated, I just put two small ponds with rocks. The hardest thing is to find the right balance with the trees to make it look nice. For the colors, I wanted two versions to respect the sexual dimorphism, a very green version for the female and a browner orange color for the male. Our little group will satisfy visitors looking for calm and cuteness. For the first Jurassic enclosure, I wanted a large river in the center of the enclosure and to play a little with the relief to create a beautiful valley. I didn't want to overcrowd the enclosure or make it bigger, so this will be the first part of the two big Jurassic enclosure we will have in this series, combining trees, different kind of dinosaur, of different size make it very nice. I originally wanted to create an English Cretaceous enclosure with Iguanodons, Baryonyx and Polacanthus, but as I said before, we already have a lot of Cretaceous enclosures, so maybe it will be for another time. I invite you to go and see the old episode of the series. I put the link of the playlist in the description and the last two episodes will be in miniature at the end of the video. I really need support for this show, most of the episodes have less than a thousand views and I really want them to go beyond that. So feel free to check out this old episode to support me. I'm sure you'll find it cool and if you like this episode, my channel offers to explore the lore of Jurassic World and Jurassic Park universe. I make the episode in French, but they have subtitles in English for all the video. I also make videos about, about prehistory in general. The last shows three huge land crocodiles, so if you are interested, don't hesitate. Anyway, I, as usual, I try to find the right balance with all these trees, so that the wall is 
really beautiful and convincing. I love mixing the different trees and now that we can place them one by one I am having a blast. The gyrosphere will not only make a classic oval tour of the enclosure, they will weave in and out of the rocks and vegetation to give a total immersion. Around the enclosure I will decorate very simply by going along the path. I like to play with the planters and the other elements of the decor, alternating them as I go along, it gives a very nice result. So I leave you with the end of the speed building part. We'll meet again for the showcase part where we'll explore the new area until we go into visitor mode and take a gyrosphere ride. So, we are going to take a tour of what we built today. I hope you like this new area. So we'll start from the second big plaza of the park, where the feeding show of the Scorpius Rex and the Aquacontosaur are. We take the direction of the Chronosaur Lagoon and we will arrive on this new path that lead first to the Omalocephaly and then to the Gyrosphere tour in the new Jurassic enclosure. We arrive... Yes. Viewing gallery. Let's go. So let's say hello to them. Hello? Oh, wow. They are a whole group. I think they are the most cute, even if they are the Minmai or the Dryosaur. The Omalocephaly win hands down. Even if I love to see the big carnivores chasing them. Anyway. Anyway. In short, we continue on a small way with the other decoration. I made a small square where I put trees. Uh, very restful. I love herbivorous mods. And I love this guest mod so much. Very immersive. So I invite you to take the gyrosphere. We are going to say hello to stegosaurs, apatosaurs and dryosaurs. We will follow the tour. Okay. Let's go. Grand Turismo skills. <laughs> there are some rocks. Oh, Stegosaurs. I chose to give the females uh, the Lost World skin. Less color, and for the male, the, uh, for the male, the skin of Fallen Kingdom, more chunky and colorful. It looks really great. So, can we see a male, please? Oh, Hapato. Beautiful river, beautiful valley. Oh, Dryo. Hey, hello, Ule. The dryosaurs also have a difference, the females are greener and the male a bit more brown and orange, like the homalocephaly in the end. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Don't panic. Yeah, you can see the sexual dimorphism. Big chunky male. Oh, they are really beautiful. Let's go, let's go. Oh, take a nap. Hello, mister. I love them. I love Stegosaurs. Classic. Let you enjoy this show. Look at this. Oh. So. 
we are going to say hello to the Apatosaurus now. Let's go! Mixing trees. It's very beautiful. Hey! Hello, Apatos! Hello, guys! And there are three, and there is just one clearer than the others. Oh, hello, guys. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, this is a very beautiful enclosure. I love this. Oh, okay, we're stuck in the paddock now. Okay, anyway. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video, subscribe, leave a like and comment with your favorite dinosaur or reptile of the game, from the game. <laughs> See you soon for episode 9, take care, bye bye.